In the last video, we talked about how to enable feed tracking. And that's really a, a chatter function, and it's totally separate, although it's parallel to what we're going to discuss now, which is how to do field history tracking, uh, and really then be able to report on it. And the biggest difference is, is that uh, chatter lasts for 45 days, where uh, this, this field history lasts for 18 months, so it's a much longer process in terms of being able to look at data and actually compare and report on it. So this is the way to go if you're looking to report. So first step is to go to an account, and so we're going to go out and take a look at edge communications. Uh, we're going to say, all right, we want to be able to track on changes that occur here, uh, and if we look at the related list, we there's nothing nothing there now that's going to be able to show changes. Um, just sorry, this is like full disclosure. And then, uh, so the, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go out to to to, to the to edit the object because we want to change now uh, kind of what's being tracked. So we're going to go to, to fields and relationships within account. We're going to enable account history. And then we're going to select the specific fields that we want to be tracking on. So I'm going to look here at account name and account owner, but you could add any additional information, things like rating and whether, you know, just activity, whatever else, uh, that you'd want to be able to compare over an 18-month period. Um, so uh, saving that allows us then to know that we've, we've created a mechanism for tracking uh, activity and accounts, but now we need to be able to, to look at how we would actually see that. So the way that we do that is to go out here to edit the page. And what we're going to see then is if we look at the page, we can then go out here and select uh, the account page. And within the account page layout, we're going to look for related lists. And in the related list section, we're going to find account history uh, or whatever the object's name is, history. And we're going to take and we're going to drag that down into our list. And so let's say uh, it, it's now going to show up here. Uh, but by saving that, uh, we can then look back at our edge communications. And if we look at the related lists, we're going to see there's an account history related list without any records. So if we decide, to, let's say we're going to add a corporation here. Uh, and so we go in and we make that change. and we then find that we have a history record, uh, which is great because then we can jump in and we can also go out to Chatter and we're also going to see within Chatter uh, that there's also an update record, uh, but that is independent uh, of these two activities. So we're, we're kind of managing them differently. You really can't report on Chatter the way that you can report on this field. So let's go take a look at that. So if we go out to the Reports tab, and we go out and create a, a new report. Uh, and that new report is going to be an account report. And it's going to be account history. And we say continue. Uh, what we'll then get is, is this kind of format. This is you know, straight out of the box without any editing. Uh, we're going to see this information, which is going to show us the field name, the edit date, and the old and new values. Uh, and especially as we're, uh, we're looking to be able to pull date ranges or specific information for uh, a, an account or, or a specific event, this is a way to be able to get those changes over time. I um, hope that's helpful. And now what we're going to do is we're going to talk about how to create a, a custom object for tracking these changes, which allows it to save longer than the 18 months. Thanks for watching.